Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Madden 20 Ultimate Team video, and today we have the brand new Ultimate Legends in the game. As you guys can see, we got Jim Brown, Bruce Smith, and then Mel Blunt as the limited time card. Obviously, we gotta pick up Jim Brown for the theme team. Um, so I'm gonna do that once he goes down in price. I checked on him a little bit earlier. He was going for about 500k, so a little bit too much for me. And uh, sorry, this video is going on a little late. I decided to sleep in today because I didn't get much sleep during the week because of online schooling. So yeah, I uh, decided to sleep in a little today. Got got my rest, and we are ready to go make record videos. Um, so yeah, getting into it, we will go over their stats real quick, but as you guys can see, just a reminder, I do this every week, do your Ultimate Legend kickoff challenge if you have not gotten your free Ultimate Legend yet, because I know you are able to get it, like, as of last week, if you did every other one before it, you are able to get it, but I am a little bit behind, so I did was not able to get it yet, so I 100% recommend you finish this Ultimate Legend kickoff challenge, be your Ultimate Legend as fast as you can. And uh, if you were behind that, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think they're going to keep releasing it. Um, more tokens just so the people who missed it can continue to try and get that free Ultimate Legend. Because I don't think they're going to give another free one out. Because um, that would be kind of, I don't know, just weird. But uh, we'll go ahead and check out the store. We will check out the sets and then we will go over their stats. It does not look like there's anything new in the store. I do this every week, just go over um, the store, the sets, the challenges to see if there's anything new. Just looks like the basic Ultimate Legend packs, but these packs are definitely not worth it right now with the way the market is looking and how worthless some cards are. Like Julius Peppers, he's like 100k, like 96s are so cheap, like opening those packs is definitely not worth it. As you guys can see, I'm not finished, but it does not look like we have a brand new exchange set yet. So um, I'm really hoping we eventually get an Ultimate Legend exchange set so I can do like a one for a video for you guys but um looking at these got these um cars in these sets it looks like he has a fullback car jim brown and it looks like bruce smith is gonna have a defensive tackle card all right nothing crazy i, re I really liked uh, last week's where we got jerry rice quarterback and john randall right us linebacker they were different positions that you would normally see right here jim brown at fullback bruce smith the dt doesn't really make too big of a difference but it's cool i guess and uh we'll go ahead and check out their stats now and um, while I am going to the auction house, guys, make sure you guys do drop a like down below. Subscribe with notice on so you don't miss any more of these videos because I know you guys are going to want to see it. I am going to try to push out a 2K video um, tomorrow um, of the No Money Spent series. Obviously, I've been grinding for Kobe recently on the um, Spotlight Sim challenges, so I'm just trying to get him as fast as possible. And I do want to get a gameplay out with the No Money Spent team as soon as I can. So drop a like if you are excited for that. But um, I don't know why I passed the Ultimate Legend. But getting into the old brand new Ultimate Legend stats, we'll see if we can find them on, on the auction house. I'm assuming they're going to be up because it is like 12.30 for me right now. And uh, if we go ahead and look, we see uh, Bruce Smith up for about 470 and same with Jim Brown, both about 470k right now. Uh, Bruce Smith, 83 speed, 92 excel, 98 strength, 94 tackle, 95 cleric, 97 block shin, 98 power move, 94 finesse move on him as well. He's also got a 98 strength, a 77 agility, 83 speed, 92 excel, 95 awareness, 51 catching, 40 carrying, 94 tackle, uh, 77 jumping as well, 78 stiff arm which is surprisingly good, 93 impact blocking on him, 95 pursuit, 95 play rec, looks like a pretty decent card, definitely not too bad, 94 hit power. Um, pretty decent, a little bit slow, I, at, and I would say more of a 3-4 end for sure, but still pretty dang good defensive end card right there. And then we do have the Jim Brown card right here, 95 speed, 94 excel, 93 agility, 97 carrying, 71 catching, 89 elusiveness, 94 truck, and 98 break tackle. Really excited to get this guy on the team, he will be a goal 99, so he will get 4 ability slots. 93 strength on him at running back. 95 speed as we saw, 94 excel, 95 awareness, 71 catch as well, looks very good, 70 pass blocking, 59 run blocking, I love that 70 pass blocking, 93 jumping on him as well, 94 truck, 89 elusiveness, 94 ball carrier vision, 96 stiff arm, 85 spin, 90 juke, so he will get jukebox which is really nice, and then moving down, we got all this catching sets, we got 59 beat press on him as well, looks like a very good card and 98 break tackle on him. Looks like an absolutely insane card, and I really want to add him to the team. And now moving down, as you guys see, we have a Mel Blunt right here for about 1.2 million coins. I want to check out and see 
if that is really how much Mel Blunt is going for. So we'll filter by corner. It's about 1.1 million coins. Um, after we go over the stats, I want to talk about a little bit of coin making method that you guys can do with Mel Blunt. But right here, as you guys see, he's got 93 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 95 jumping, 95 cleric, 94 man, 94 zone, and 98 press. He's also 6-3, which is really nice. A little bit slow, but a big hitting corner for sure. 77 strength, 94 agility, 94 excel, 95 awareness, 80 catching, 80 carrying as well. 76 tackle on the corner is absolutely insane. 95 jumping, 63 kick return as well. 70 ball carrier vision, 75 duke move. He's got a 61 impact blocking, a 66 block shot, which is good, 84 pursuit, 95 player as well. Looks like a very good card, 71 spec catch, 71 catch in traffic, 9, 87 hit power, 98 press, 65 beat press as well. Sadly, I don't believe he will get Enforcer, which kind of sucks, but still, a 87 hit power corner is insane there's no not much like it except for night train lane but uh, talking about the coin maker method if you guys have not heard this from gut fox i would recommend go checking out his channel gut fox definitely go subscribe to him he makes some of the best mm, coin making methods on youtube he finds loopholes and stuff like that but mel blunt what he's been doing like last week i believe we had devin hester as the limited time card um you could buy this devin hester card for 700k now you can resell him for 1 million you can make a 300k profit from just buying Devin Hester's and then reselling them a couple days later. So the coin making method I have is that uh, Gutfox did come up with is you buy like Mel Blunt or something when they go down. So I would assume like waiting till maybe the night tomorrow when these cards are really getting pulled a ton. Buy maybe a couple of these Mel Blunts and they will go up in price. Another good example is Michael Strahan. I believe he is a right end. No, he's a left end. All right. But Michael Strahan, a very good example of a limited time card. He was selling for 1 million coins. He is 2.5 million coins now. Coin mega methods like these are absolutely insane. Um, I definitely recommend you guys try this if you have the coins. Obviously, you need a lot of coins for this because they are limited time cards. They're going to be very expensive to buy. So um, I'm probably going to try this with Mel Blanc. Maybe buy him if he goes down to like 900k. Try and resell them maybe a couple days later, maybe even a week. Make some coins off that. Hopefully, we are able to. Um, I mean, it seems like it could be a very, very good method. So I'm going to try it. Um, you guys will see if my coins really go up, if it really worked or not. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's a good video. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but that's how most of my Ultimate Ledger videos are. I don't open packs because I don't really feel like you should open packs. They're kind of a waste of coins and stuff, and I don't like to waste coins. So yeah, I just go over all the stats, the challenges, the sets in the store. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, Make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe when he's on, make sure to leave a comment. Comments always do up if the video get out there. Go check out all my socials in the description. We got Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And go check out my stream labs in the description if you want to go further than subscribing. Go and donate there. But uh, yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.